Obviously, the previous three had a go at your skills test, Marcus. These three are going to attempt yours. What are you going to get them to do? I would like them to make us a burger. A burger? Yeah. It's not really posh food, is it, Marcus? This is not about posh food. This is about good cookery. To come into here and cook us something that we're really going to enjoy. Great flavour, great cookery, great skill. I don't know anyone who doesn't love a good burger. You know, there's an array of different ingredients mm. here. What a fun test. How long have they got for this? I'm going to give them 20 minutes. Right, 20 minutes. Off we go. Cracking burger. OK. Over to you, chef. So, first up, I'm going to just quickly dice up half an onion. And then I'm just going to cook that quickly in a little bit of oil and butter. I'm going to leave the onions now to sweat down and I'm going to start the mince. I'm going to be using a chuck steak and I'm also going to be adding some bacon. So the onions have now come off the heat, they're beautifully sweated down. I'm going to use a tray from the freezer and they will cool down straight away. Why has it got to chill? Because if you put hot onion onto the burger mix, it'll start to cook straight away. It won't hold together and it'll just fall apart in the pan. I'm going to put some herbs into the mix, a little bit of rosemary and some thyme. Salt, pepper and a whole egg. So now we're going to add the onions, nice and cold. Just get our hands in. We really want to work the mix together to make a nice pate. What I want to do I'm just going to put this straight into the fridge just to get a little bit of firmness to it. I'm going to slice some red onions. I've got some beautiful streaky bacon. The burger's now been in the fridge for a couple of minutes. I'm going to start cooking. Sealing the burger on both sides and then I'm going to be brushing it with a little bit of English mustard and then put it into the oven. Why go from the pan to the oven? Why not just keep it in the pan? Putting it into the oven gives it the heat all over, so it cooks nice and evenly. I'm going to go for the brioche bun. It's nice and rich, and I'm just going to go for a nice cheddar cheese on top. Just a little bit of oil. And onto your grill. So I'm going to take the cheese. You're going to melt the cheese on the... Drop that on top like that. Now we can start to put the burger together. And bun, it's been nicely toasted. Ketchup. Onions on the base. Put the burger on top. Tomato. Mm. <laughs> there you go, Greg. I mean, there you go, Greg. Because <laughs> I know Greg's going to beat you to it. And then a little <laughs> bit of watercress, just for a bit of colour. That's fabulous. So, it's a bit of fun. So there you have it. My burger. No, my burger. Your burger. <laughs> Our burger. <laughs> That's fabulous. And actually, there's a lot of work gone into that. To make this, you still need the chef skills. You need the knife skills. You need the palate. You need the vision. You need the touch. Wow. Well done, Greggy. <laughs> That's one of the best burgers I've had. <laughs> mm. Let's get the three chefs in. I want three more good burgers.